Our next choir have continued to surprise the judges over the weeks. If they were a footy team, you'd say they're coming into form at just the right time in the season. It's Fox Synergy. Could you now just do this, please? Vox Energy gives its quirky teenagers a chance to find their true voice. When I sing, like I don't stutter, it's a fantastic feeling. Love is in the air, everywhere I look around. But it wasn't love at first sight for the judges. For me, the balance in the ensemble was a little bit out. Fighting for their financial survival, Vox Energy took it all on board. And their quarter-final performance had the judges sing stars. What I felt I heard tonight was how desperately you need that money and how much passion you have, and it just turned into magnificence. In the semi, Vox found their voice. Synergy, making Vox the first choir put through to our grand final. The real mixture of feelings to sort of find out that you've made it. There's a lot of excitement. It's certainly nothing that any of us have ever really felt before. 16-year-old Paddy left his country home just to be part of Vox Synergy. And if they don't win tonight, his dream of singing with one of Melbourne's best choirs might be over. Vox Synergy is really singing for our supper in this competition. It's the last row of the dice. Here they are, aiming to be the last choir standing at the end of the night. It's a Vox Synergy with the beautiful cold chisel ballad, When the War Is Over. Well, they've st stolen my heart away, that's for sure. Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> Look, one of the things that you, you, you have is just this ability to sing not just from your heart, but from the tips of your toes and all the way up, which just brings this beautiful, beautiful embodied, full, warm sound. And you have what I would call great artistry. And that is a great reflection of you, you, Kate, standing in the front. It's just beautiful. Oh, we're meant to cry, not you. Charlie. Oh, look, truly divine. I think you are angels on earth. That's the way you touch me every time I hear you sing. You epitomise the quality of natural voice and it's a pleasure to see you perform. Either. 
You know you've had to win me the hard way. I've told you that before. <laughs> but here we are talking about technique and discipline and a whole lot of other things, and then there's just the sound. Mm. And that's what you have. George? Jonathan and I have disagreed about just about everything uh, <laughs> through this series, except for you. We've agreed right from the beginning that you are one of the finest choirs that we've heard in a long time. A big, brave, full, rich sound. You have a naturalness and a raw power that I, 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 I just don't want to stop listening to, ever. Mm -hmm. You can stop changing me. I think I like that. <laughs>